Hi guys, welcome back to Will It Crush. In today's episode, we're going to be making things disappear. And it's just using this sunflower oil and a Pyrex test tube and Pyrex beaker. We fill it up with the sunflower oil and you'll see what happens in a minute. So once I put the test tube into the beaker, you can see that you can still see it perfectly fine. Because inside that test tube, all there is is the air from the outside. So you can see it refracting in there. But once we start to fill it up with more sunflower oil, look at that, totally disappears, right? There we go, let's watch it again in slow motion. I think that looks pretty cool. It definitely still is in there though. You'll be able to see in a minute as I pull it out. It's not disappeared, nothing's broken, it's still there, it's just the oil and the Pyrex reacting in a certain way with light that makes it look invisible. So what's going on? This is what I'm going to explain in these crappy drawings. So this is an example as if you were just holding up a test tube filled with water in mid-air. So light has to go through air, through the Pyrex, through the water, and light travelling through air travels at a different rate than it does through water. So you end up getting reflections and refractions in the water, which is why it shows up normally and you can see it fine. This is different to the example we've just shown. As you can see in this next drawing, light as it travels through the Pyrex and through the oil and then through the Pyrex again and more oil, the light is traveling at a pretty constant rate, so you don't get much refraction, which is why it looks invisible, because light is basically just going at the same speed through the, all the objects. It definitely looks cool though. I even filmed it at 240 frames just in case anyone thought anything weird was going on. Look at that, it looks so cool, it's just like slowly vanishing. If you look really closely, you will be able to make out the edges of the test tube. This is the only way that you'll be able to see it because going straight through it, light's going pretty constant. But once it hits the curvature of the tube, that's when you get that sort of refraction on the edges there. I also half filled it with water this time so that you can see you can definitely make out the tube at the bottom, but in the oil layer, you can't see it. It's pretty much vanished. The only reason you can see the outline more than last time is because there's water clinging onto the outside of the tube. Overall, it's a really easy experiment. It'd be a good one to show kids or just try it out yourself. I still think it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to add us on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. And have a good day. This will be our first Q&A video, even though it's not on the usual day. But um, yeah, I ask people to send in questions through Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, wherever they wanted. Quite a lot of them are from Snapchat. Everyone's very active on there. Um, you can find our Snapchat.